hi viewers today i am going to teach you from the chapter of polynomials exercise 2.2 of ncrt textbook of class 10 max relationship between zeros and coefficients of polynomials px is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is a polynomial now we are going to find the sum of its roots. Sum of its roots is minus b by a or coefficient of minus of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x squared. That is coefficient of x. B is the coefficient of x. Here is a sign minus. Therefore, minus coefficient of x is minus b divided by coefficient of x squared. x squared's coefficient is a. Therefore, sum of its zeros is minus b by a. Similarly, we can find the product of the zeros. Constant 10 divided by coefficient of x square. In the polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c, the constant term is c and the coefficient of x squared is a. Therefore, the product of 0 c is a. For doing exercise 2.2 on page number 33, we have to by heart the formulas. Sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a, product of the roots is c by a. Find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. Question number 1, x squared minus 2x minus 8. x squared minus 2x minus 8. I am going to factorize this quadratic polynomial. Therefore, I need two numbers such that their sum is minus 2 and their product is minus 8. Sum should be minus 2 and the product should be minus 8. Which are the two numbers? The two numbers are minus 4 and 2. Minus 4 plus 2 equal to minus 2. Minus 4 into 2 equal to minus 8. Therefore, I can split the number x squared minus 2x minus 8. This polynomial I can write as x minus 4 into x plus 2. So, the value of x squared minus 2x minus 8 is 0 when x minus 4 equal to 0 or x plus 2 equal to 0. If x minus 4 is equal to 0, then x is equal to 4. If x plus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 2. These are the two values of x. I am going to verify it. From here, what is the sum of zeros? 4 plus minus 2. What is 4 plus 2 minus 2? It is 2. But according to the polynomial's general formula, the sum of the zero should be coefficient of x minus of coefficient of x divided by coefficient of co coefficient of x squared. That is minus b by a. What is the a here? a equal to 1 b. That means coefficient of x that is minus 2 constant m c is equal to minus a. Then the sum of the root a is minus 0 c is minus b by a minus of minus 2 by a. a is 1. Therefore the answer is 2. Here the two values are equal. Therefore the sum of the 
0, C is 2 and we verified it. Now we can go to the product. Product of zeros. What is the product of 0? 4 into minus 2. What is 4 into minus 2? It is minus 8. We are going to verify it. What is the product of the roots? C by A. That means constant 10 divided by A. Constant time is minus 8. Divided by A, 1. The answer is minus 8. Both answers are correct. Therefore, we verified it. The question is 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. I am going to split the middle term. Therefore, the sum is minus 4. I have to get two numbers such that their sum is minus 4 and their product is 4 into 1, 4. The numbers are minus 2 and minus 2. Minus 2 plus minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 2 into minus 2 is equal to positive 4. I am going to splitting the middle term. 4x square question. 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 equal to 4x squared minus 4x splitting minus 2x minus 2x plus 1. 2x is common in the first two terms. Therefore, 2x minus 1. Then minus 2x minus 1. These two terms. 2x minus 1 is common. 2x minus 1. That means... 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 equal to 0. 2x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 by 2. We got a x is equal to 1 by 2. In both terms, x will be 1 by 2. Here also x is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, the zeros are 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. Now, we are going to verify it. Then, what is the sum? Sum equal to minus 1, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. It is equal to 1. According to the formula, the sum is minus b by a. What is a? A is 4. b is equal to coefficient of x. That is minus 4. c is the constant 1. That is 1. Sum is minus b by a. What is minus b by a? Minus of minus 4. 4 by a is 4 equal to 1. Here we got 1. Therefore, it is verified. Next one is product. 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 4. Now we are going and verify by the formula. Product should be C by A. C is 1 and A is 4. Therefore, the answer is 1 by 4. In both cases, the product is 1 by 4. Therefore, it is verified. Question is 6x squared minus 3 minus 7. I am going to rearrange. It will be 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. Sum should be minus 7 and the product should be 6 into minus 3 that is minus 18. The numbers are minus 9 and positive 2. Splitting the middle term. 6x squared minus 7ix minus 3 equal to 6x squared minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. 3x is common. 2x minus 3 plus 1 into 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 is common. Remaining 3x plus 1. Therefore, either 2x minus 3 equal to 0 or 3x plus 1 equal to 0. 2x is equal to 3. x is equal to 3 by 2, 3x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 1 by 3. Therefore, the sum x are minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3. x is equal to 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3. Therefore, the sum is 3 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2. The answer will be 7 by 6. According to the formula, sum is minus b by a. 
a is 6, b is minus 7, c is minus 3, then minus b by a is 7 by 6 and the product a is minus 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 3, it will be minus 3 by 6 according to the formula, it is c by a, it is minus 3 by 6, both of them are equal, therefore we are verified it. Next one is 4u squared plus 8u. We have to find the zeros. Taking the 4u as common, then u plus 2. That means either 4u equal to 0 or u plus 2 equal to 0. 4u equal to 0, u equal to 0. u plus 2 equal to 0. That means u is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the value of zeros are either 0 or minus 2 are the values of now we are going to verify sum is equal to 0 plus minus 2. Answer will be minus 2. According to the formula, the sum will be minus b by a. We will get to minus 2. Product is equal to 0 into minus 2. Answer is 0. C by a. C is 0. B is 8. A is 4. C by a is equal to 0 by 4. The answer is 0. Therefore, this answer is also verified. Question number 5 is t squared minus 15. t squared minus 15, we are changing t squared is equal to 15. t is equal to root of 15. The answer will be plus or minus root 15. Therefore, the zeros are either positive 15 or negative 15. Sum is minus 15 plus root 15 the answer will be 0 according to the formula it will be minus b by a coefficient of t squared is equal to 1 coefficient of t is 0 because no terms and the constant m is minus 15 minus b by a 0 by 1 the answer is 0 then the product equal to min positive root 15 into negative root 15. 15 root 15 into root 15 15 then positive and negative answer will be negative 15 according to the formula it will be product will be c by a c is minus 15 a is 1 therefore minus 15 by 1 the answer is minus 15 both answers are same therefore we have verified it